This is former Offaly hurler Ray O'Gorman there. Willie, Willie O'Gorman. And must be a little bit worried at this stage about the regular Offaly 15 that we see. Not that Dahi is not a regular, but obviously they intend to exert pressure at midfield by bringing O'Regan in. Adam McSwivna, I think, wants the place. <laughs> it's not waltzing Matilda by any stretch of the imagination, but Dahi is making his presence felt. And Larry is taking none of it. Finally, things are underway. Shane McGuckian giving a loose ball to Martin Sturry. He salutes the Wexford crowd with a clenched fist. He does it again for the camera, and Wexford starts the way they finished. Two points between the teams. That's exactly what Wexford needed, Nicky. Absolutely. A great score from Martin, uh, North Martin's story. Stalemate at midfield. Hubert Rigney, I think the linesman is indicating that it's going to be... He thought it was going to be a hot ball. And in fact, the decision is to Offaly. Kevin Martin from Tullamore. Larry O'Gorman from Fair Harriers. Kevin Keenan's hardly being held by Gary Laffin, but the referee allowed the advantage wisely. Liam Dunn. Good centre back play. Knocked down for Rory McCarthy. Knocked away by Kevin Martin. Loose ball comes to Adrian Fenlon. And Fenlon is scooping it sufficiently enough, not quite. Liam Cotter. Not a good chance. Comes to Larry Murphy, who finishes the job second time round. Larry Murphy gets his first point of the Leinster final. And Wexford are certainly intent on meaning business. As I said when you joined us at the first time from Parky Creeve, the atmosphere around Croke Park on all approach roads was unquestionably Wexford, Wexford, Wexford. And you get the feeling that it's not going to be the team's fault this time if they fail. Determination etched on Larry Murphy's face. Etched on some wonderful part taking by Larry Murphy from Club On. Tears in the eyes of a Wexford man already. I warn you, Wexford, it's a long, long way to go. An excellent point there for Larry Murphy. Won a ball and broke through Kevin Martin. Also has Brian Whelan going backwards, but an excellent run. And again, what he wasn't doing in the first half, getting it, having a look up and having a pot at goal. And a, an excellent point, an excellent point by Larry. Martin Storey is the man that's down injured. He flew all week, which was kept out of the newspapers rather wisely, perhaps, by Wexford officials. But at this stage, he seems to be in a spot of bother with an ankle problem. And his absence, if he had to withdraw, would be a major blow. The Wexford bench taking in the sunshine, but you can see the tension on their faces. Martin Story trying to put the boot back on. They're introducing perhaps Paul Finn from All at the Bala. He's the man who's running up and down the sideline while Martin Story is getting attention. The captain is putting back on the sock. But thinking about warming up George O'Connor as well, as the new stand looks beautiful in the blue skies. That's Croke Park, 1996. George has put the helmet on. You can see that the hand, both hands indeed, are heavily strapped. But if he's brought in again psychologically, being brought in, it could be an inspirational decision. Larry, almost blessing Martin Story to stay on. Just the eyes say it all. A Story gets back to his feet, limping and must be said severely. Can he continue? The loose ball, the breaking ball to John Troy. Oh, lovely ball inside to Joe Dooley. Giving it inside to Michael Dignan. He can reach it. 
What a lovely pass though from John Troy to Joe Dooley. Liam Griffin has certainly done a good job so far. The psychological state of Wexford Mines must have been helped, and I know that league and championship are so different, but the fact that Wexford did beat Offaly in the league for the first time in many years must have helped. Martin Storey sending a ball in to Liam Coughlin. Sends it straight back down towards Johnny Dooley. Mario Gorman. And Offaly are in trouble in this early stages of this second half. Pulled on, half blocked. Again, Wexford have it. Again, Adrian Fenland sends it in to La Gary Laffin. Nice turn. First time beating Kevin Keenan. Good run by Laffin. Can he connect? He can't. And that's White. But Offaly defenders had to come to the assistance of Kevin Keenan. That was a close call. Well pulled on. Liam Dunn going back to gather it. He gets there ahead of Billy Dooley. Charkush. Spot of bother here. Liam Dunn comes in to help him once more. Up towards Tom Dempsey and Shane McGuckian. Scooping it up. Almost shovel-like is Larry Murphy, who sends a ball straight over the crossbar. What a score. What a point. What a man. Larry Murphy. By God, they mean business in Croke Park, these Wexford lads. The Leinster champions are in deep, deep trouble, and I know it's very early. Six and a half minutes gone. Wexford lead by that scoreline. Adrian Fenlon. It's 17, 19 years since they won the Leinster title. But awfully are the masters of coming back. Limerick, the new Munster champions, remember it from two years ago. Story, the captain leading by example. Where's the ankle injury now? Comes Damon Scallon, who drives it wide. If Wexford lose this, Nicky, they'll be killing themselves. Oh, absolutely. You don't get simpler chances than that, and Damon knows. He knew the minute he hit it, it was all wrong. Breaking ball, Dahi Regan. Big Dahi trying to swing. Larry holding on to him. So too is Sean Flood getting a touch to it down towards Adrian Fenland. Lovely hurling. Good man. Down to Gary Laffin. Trying to get away from Kevin Keenahan. Laffin twice beating Keenan in a matter of minutes. It's a terrible pass, Gary. Hubert Rigney. Good defending by Offaly. Down to Johnny Pilkington. The Leinster champions will respond. They're awfully, they're the fateful county, remember. And away goes Johnny. Nobody from Wexford can catch him. Sends in a ball to Damien Fitzhenry. Sends it back up to his Brian Whelan and Martin Storey. It was half suspicious that Whelan was waiting for it. Liam Dunn can't reach it. Michael Dagnan putting it across to Rod Guiney. Rod going back to scoop it up once more. Up towards Johnny Dooley, and there's a point for the taking. His third of the Leinster final. Offaly responds like champions. And thanks be to God, there's only eight minutes gone in the second half. 114 to 110. The hurling men of Ireland are proving what a fantastic game this is. They did it in Limerick, they did it in Tipperary, they did it in Clare last year, but today. It's Wexford and Offaly. It's a powerful game. It's really getting good now. Offaly are not going to hit a great chance. Gary Lappin is straight through. Saved by Liam Cochran. Oh, what a save by Liam Cochran. But his clearance is not a good one and he gets it again. It's an emotional, it's a tense afternoon in Croke Park. It's a great day for Hurling. The ball is sent back in again. Grabbed by Martin Storey. Can he get a shot? Brilliantly blocked down by Martin Hanamey. Who bravely put his face, head, arms and legs in front of it. Gary Laffin. Kevin Keenahan. 
Getting it out first, Johnny Tooley. Sending it way, way down the field. Up towards Guitar Kush, knocked away by Rod Guiney. Trying to scoop it away from Joe Tooley. And it's Guiney that comes away. 